Hi, this is Kelly from Play, Learn, Talk, and this is a tutorial for Merry Christmas, the Emotion Edition. So to go inside, we hit Enter, and then we have our instruction page on the second page in. So this is a digital game that's been designed to target many goals all at once, and you can read the list below. It has nine practice pages and two bonus built-in games to keep your students engaged the whole time. All right, so let's go ahead and hit start. This is the framework of every single page. So you're going to have how does the boy or girl feel as your prompt. You have a visual picture of a boy or girl demonstrating an emotion. And then you have the opportunity to rearrange the letters of a three word sentence, type the sentence, say it at a different volume and a different rate, and then also have your student act it out. So down here at the bottom, we have a built-in schedule. So after three tasks are completed, we get to do a present page and then our final present page. So I wanna show you some ways that you can use this. The first page I'll demonstrate just a really simple way to use it. So you're going to ask your student, how does the boy feel? And then you have them tell you what order to put the words in, okay? So he feels excited. At this point, you could have your student you know, offer a synonym and you can even type that in the sentence box if you wanted to, to give a visual, all right? So he feels excited and then your student, or you can type it in, he feels excited. Now I'll point out, I do not have this uh, fill in the blank box designated as he feels excited. So if you hit submit, it's actually going to say you have not found all the correct answers at this point because we haven't found everything on the page, but it's not measuring accuracy within this text box because I want you to have the freedom to model whatever kind of sentence you want. So for example, if my student said he feels excited, at this point I might ask the student because why does he feel excited? And I might actually say because dot, 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 or I might write he feels excited because, and then put in my student's answer, okay? So if we're using it in a simple way though, we're gonna just put in he feels excited. And then I'm gonna say to my student, okay, say it like a loud lion. And when they do, I'm gonna click on it. Say it like a quiet mouse, say it like a slow turtle, say it like a fast cheetah. Okay, and then at this point, once at this point, once all the words have been arranged and you've written in the text box and you've clicked every single picture here, you can hit the arrow. If you do not click all of the pictures and you hit the arrow, it's gonna say you have not found all the correct answers. So let's say you have a student who does not want to do these silly voices, they're a little bit shy. So let's say you, you only have them do a loud lion and a slow turtle, but you couldn't get them to do the mouse and the cheetah. When you offer it to them, make sure to click on it anyways. So if they didn't do it, you can say, oh, that's okay, we'll try the mouse next time and click on it, okay? Or you can demonstrate it, but make sure everything is clicked on before you hit this next arrow. All right, another thing I'll point out is that when you get to this point here, your students are gonna have a lot of fun with this if they're anything like my students. And the first few times you can do it in order, but if you wanna throw them off and keep the excitement going, you can say, okay, pay attention, and then say, say it like a fast cheetah, say it like a loud lion, say it like a slow turtle, right? So you go out of order to keep them even more on their toes. So let's go ahead and get to the final game. And, or not final game, the first game. So here we have a tic-tac-toe game. At this point, they've only seen three pictures from this grid of nine, okay? And they're also labeled here so you can know what they are. Now, this is the tutorial for this game. I'm going to be adding after this video a little bar up here so that you can actually model sentences. So you can use this to say, put it on the boy who's confused or put it on the girl who's nervous or you can you know put whatever you want up here. So that will be an added bonus to this. So you can have your students just simply play the game. This is a little break for them, but it's still targeting the vocabulary that you want, okay? So whoever is the winner gets to press the trophy. These are your navigation buttons that go next. So here we're gonna go through, and now we have a little bit more work to do before we get to the final game. And this is the final game, it is a magic flashlight game. So all you're gonna do is you are going to stop on a picture. I have not put any instructions because I want it to be very open-ended and versatile for your students, okay? So you can simply have them label what they see, label the emotion, you could have them act it out, um, you know, whatever you want to do. I also like to have students tell me where to move. I rarely give remote control during sessions and I highly recommend that you don't either because it allows for lots of language opportunities, okay? So I will put the flashlight here and then I'll have students take turns telling me where to go. So move to the left, move up, move to the right, 
or you know, tell me to keep going or go or stop. So I hope you enjoy this game. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at Play, Learn, Talk or find my information in the about description.